YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So, um, it's been a while again. <laughs> I am just not as uh, prolific on making videos as I used to. However, um, I was looking through all of my videos and I realized that uh, my most popular video that I ever uh, filmed, which was the uh, Why Am I Child Free? Uh, just past 10 years, I think it was like just last month, um, it's been 10 years since I posted it, and it's gotten the most views and everything out of all of my videos and, and stuff, and so I'm, uh, you know, I was, I was, so I was looking at it and I was kind of scrolling through and kind of remembering a lot of the comments that I've gotten on that video, because that's also gotten the most comments, and um, it still circulates every now and again. I still get a comment, even 10 years later, um, not as frequently as I used to. And um, if you look at that video, I'm going to put a, a link to it um, down below if you want to uh, revisit that one. But uh, if you look through the comments, some of them some of them are kind of like, uh, there's a lot of them like, oh, thank you for posting this. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one that, that feels this way and that kind of thing. But at the same time, it's like there's a lot of like, you know, you, 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 you're, you'll regret this and, you know, all of, all of the things that, that those of us who uh, are child-free here still, I mean, it's 2023 and people are still giving people crap for not wanting to have kids. Like, really? Like, if you want kids, go have kids. Like, just don't think that anyone that doesn't want kids is, like, it's a judgment against people who do have kids because it's not. It's not like people who have kids is a judgment against people who don't. It's just, it, I don't understand the logic. But um, the whole reason why I'm making this video at all is because um, I did see at least one comment um, asking me this question. And um, I just wanted to respond in, in video format saying, you know, so the question is, are you still child-free? Now, admittedly, one of the one of the things that where where a lot of the crap comes from uh, when I made this video, I looked a lot different. Um, you know, I have a screenshot here of of me uh, and and how I looked ten years ago. Um, I have since come out as transgender. For those of you who are not aware of this, and I am, you know, uh, male presenting now. I was female presenting then. And so, as a female presenting person at the time, um, women in general who want to be or who are child free tend to get a lot of pushback because uh, there there is a certain percentage of people. I don't I, I I haven't done the research to know what, but there is a percentage of people in the world who seem to think that the only thing women are good for is popping out babies, and if they're not popping out babies, what is the point? And I certainly felt that kind of crap um, aimed at me for a very long time. Um, even though I, I had myself sterilized when I was 20, 28 or 29, um, yeah, 28, uh, I had to have surgery anyway, and I managed to convince my OBGYN and at the time that, you know what, I'm really not going to have kids. We went, she and I had a debate for almost an hour over the whole thing, and in the end, she agreed to give me tubal ligation. She wouldn't do a hysterectomy, even though that's what I really wanted. Uh, but she's like, okay, I'll tie your, I'll, I'll give you a, a tube tie um, while, while I'm in there, you know, because they had to remove an ovary for medical reasons and all this stuff. But, so, I had myself sterilized at 28, and, um... Over the years, I've had people come up to me and say, well, do you regret it? You know, you know, have you changed your mind? Uh, this, that, and the other. And the answer has always been like, no, I, I, when I said I was child free, I meant it. And that has not changed. I am now 51, I'll be 52 in December. And obviously I have, I have changed gender and I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, well past, well, okay, maybe not well past, but I'm I'm definitely into age of menopause, even though I've also now had a hysterectomy, so that's not even, I've, I've, I've had medical menopause anyway, um, had that done four years ago, I'm in transition for five years now, 
Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I, I don't want to become one of the poster children of pregnant men. Uh, there, there are trans men out there who are getting pregnant and are having babies and, you know, more power to them. If, if that's what you want, hey, I am not going to judge anyone for wanting kids. Uh, because it's an important part of life and, you know, for a lot of people, it, it's a very meaningful part of their life and, and... Um, they, they love their kids and it's great. Um, I'm still of the mind that not everyone should be a parent because my mother certainly, certainly should not have been. And that's a whole other, <laughs> I know I've talked about my mom and, and, and all those issues, but I was a, I was a product of a one night stand. She thought she was sterile. She was, she was told she was sterile to begin with. And it, it's a whole thing. So, um, she should not have had a kid. And, and the way I was raised, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I, I am a happy, mostly healthy adult, um, these days and, and my life turned out better than I could have ever expected. Um, when, uh, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, like, we were pretty poor. We went to bed hungry a lot, um, or ate really crappy food and, not enough food oftentimes and just it you know so l when I was a kid I didn't think life was going to be all that great but I was like you know what I, but I saw people who had good lives and I'm like I want that and I went after it and I was lucky enough and privileged enough to to achieve it um you know got my education got my bachelor's degree got, got my master's degree um ended up with a, a really good career. Uh, now I am, you know, in my 50s and I'm kind of retired. And, um, well, I call myself semi-retired because I don't feel retired. I don't have a day job and I don't run my consulting business anymore, but I am a writer and a published author. And I'm in my office seven days a week, um, eight, 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, working on, I'm, I, if I'm not writing, then I'm editing, I'm revising, I'm rewriting, I'm marketing, I'm doing something related to my books. And, uh, you know, when, when, when I allow myself the free time, then I'll be, play some video games and that kind of thing. But I'm, I'm like struggling to keep up with some of the video games I'm playing lately. <laughs> so, so there's that. So yes, yes, I'm a 51-year-old who plays video games. I know, shock and awe, right? Um, I can't tell you the, the amount of times I've had someone in their teens and 20s on the internet, like I'll post something about a video game and they're like, oh, you, why aren't you at home raising your children? I'm like, it, it, like, I'm getting it now from the younger kids about like, why don't you have kids? Why aren't you at home raising your kids? It, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, it's, it's, it's still the stigma about you should be like when you're a certain age, you're not supposed to be playing video games or be into things like anime or cartoons or whatever, you know, you have to act your age and all of this stuff. And I was getting that from the older generations, from the boomer, boomers and the silent generation folks since I was, you know, in my twenties. And now I'm getting it from Gen Z. I'm not getting it so much from millennials. Um, millennials somehow um, didn't get that memo that they're supposed to be critical about people not acting their age. Uh, but Gen Z, on the other hand, they're like, you know, you're 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 too old. You know, you're too old to do whatever it is. Um, I, I like to interact with fandoms. Um, I am a big fan of things like Supernatural and Star Trek and that kind of thing. And so I'm on social media and I will post stuff and I will sometimes react to stuff. And then people will be like, oh, you're in your 50s. Ew, well, stop reacting to me. And I'm like, okay, I didn't even know how old you were. It's not like I go around looking at people's profiles before I'm going to give it a like. Um, and, and I've actually been lectured that I should always check people's profiles and their ages before I dare like a post on social media. Um, that's still weird to me. Um, and, and I'm like, 
like I'm not trying to be creepy. I'm just liking the post because it's like this maybe a, a picture of Dean Winchester from Supernatural and or, or Castiel or maybe it's uh, the latest Strange New Worlds from Star Trek post or something and I'm like hey I you know I, I agree with the post I agree what you're saying about the show and and I like the picture that you posted whatever and and I'm just interacting I'm just being a person on social media but I'm also not disguising the fact that I am middle-aged. I, I, I don't say specifically my age. I don't change that every year, but I do say I'm, I'm, I'm a middle-aged, you know, author and gamer and that kind of thing. And so I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not going to go around trying to pretend that I'm a different age than I am. Um, I think, I think it would be a lot creepier if I was going around interacting with um, these social media posts and, and some of them potentially of younger people and pretending that I myself am a younger person. Um, because that, that to me would be a lot creepier than, than if I was just like, I'm, I, I am who I am. This is who I am. I happen to have these things that I, I enjoy. We have this in common and I just, I saw your post and I liked it. That's it. You know, I liked it and I moved on. I didn't think twice of it until someone, you know, comes at me and starts yelling at me about stuff. And I'm like, where is this coming from? And half the time it's like a week later, I don't even remember the post that, that it was that I liked. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, sorry. <laughs> so, so yeah, even, even younger people now are like, you know, yelling at me for not having had kids and not, you know, like being offline and raising my kids and stuff. And I'm like... I just, I, I'm, I'm rambling again, aren't I? Yes, I am. But, um, yeah, so the big answer of, like, you know, the big answer to, like, are you still child-free? Yes, yes, I am. I mean, it was 10 years ago, I was in my 40s. I know some people don't start families until their late 30s, early 40s, that kind of thing. So it, it wasn't entirely, um out of the realm of question that I might have, you know, a year later, whatever, changed my mind and had a kid. Um, but I never made any videos or posts about it. And all they would have to do is look at my channel to answer that question of, did, did you have any more kids? Did any more kids? Did you ever have any kids? I'm like, no, 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 I've never had kids. Never changed my mind. Um, don't plan to. Uh, and, and biologically, I am not going to have kids, um, of my own. Um, I always said when I was younger that if I ever did somehow change my mind, because I, I, I knew that there was the possibility and that I wasn't going to completely rule out the possibility, but I knew that I was never going to bear children myself. Uh, that was something that I just, in my brain was a big nope. Um, whether or not I think part of it in retrospect now that I've got my diagnosis could be because of my autism. I'm not saying that autistic people don't want kids. Okay. That's this, this is a me personal thing, but from a, and I think this could go to a sensory issue, um, just a whole bunch of things, but I, I suffered so much from my cycles. Um, when I was still female presenting, because I mean, like I said, I didn't have a hysterectomy younger. So I still had cycles up until I had my hysterectomy. And they were, I mean, and, and they were bad. Um, I, I certainly know women and, and other trans men who have had even worse, much worse than I've had, but mine were pretty bad. I mean, there were a few times when I was at work and I was in the fetal position, curled up in the, in the women's room, in the bathroom, um, crying in pain. I didn't have, uh, I'd forgotten to bring any ibuprofen with me, um, to work that day and no one else had a, had one. And I like, I need to go home. And they, they're like, no, you can't corporate crap. And, um, a couple of times, I, I think I even, pa I was, it was so bad I passed out, um, and, and they, they had to wake me up and they're like, are you okay? Um, and, and they were real close to calling an ambulance. I'm like, no, 
no, that's fine. Can you just take me home? <laughs> and so I had someone drive me home. And uh, I, I lived close enough that uh, once I felt better, I could walk back to the office. It was two miles. It, it wasn't a terrible, terrible walk. Um, walk back and get my car and stuff like that. So so it wasn't that bad and stuff. But it, it was bad enough. And the thought of... Um, well, one, the, the, the whole thought of pregnancy in general just creeped me out. Like, just the, the whole thing of, of, of having a human growing inside me just, uh, just, I, I, I can't fathom ever going through that myself. Um, again, this is just, it's a personal thing for me. I, no judgment against anyone. Absolutely not. It's just, it's a me thing. And just, and, and I do think that, that my autism plays into it to a degree because there's a lot of it has to do with with sensory issues and things like that. And with as bad as my cycles were, um, I, I was like, okay, giving birth was would be worse. Um, and I've experienced what it's like to have a C-section because when I had my surgery um, 23 years ago, it uh, it was the exact I, I've I've actually compared C-section scars with with friends from mine who've had actual C-sections with with pregnancy and and giving birth and stuff, and I have the exact same scar in the exact same place. Um, so when they did the surgery, I mean this is 23 years ago. Nowadays they do everything laparoscopically and they do little little incisions like this, and so it's it's surgery has changed a lot in the last 23 years. But um, I had a, a the equivalent of in terms of where my incision is, and I struggled. I struggled to uh, um, to even walk, much less do anything else for a couple of weeks afterwards. I it, it was it was awful because they they cut through your muscle and everything, and so I. And I'm I'm sure anyone who's gone through it, you know, like it feels like your guts are falling out, even though they're not. But it's just kind of like because you, you just do, the muscles are just not there, and you have to give it time to um, come back together again and stuff. And so the thought of of going through that again while having to care for an infant, I just my my brain was like, nope, just absolutely no. Um, so if I ever had changed my mind about having kids, my, my immediate thought was adoption, you know, either adoption or, you know, if, if I, maybe if I'd had a partner that we clicked really, really well, but he had kids. I mean, I generally avoided guys with kids just because I didn't really want to be a parent, although I, in my mind, I was like, well, if I ever changed my mind um, about being a parent, I could widen my dating pool um, and include guys with kids. But that's that's never happened. <laughs> and now at my age, um, I, I've, I've narrowed my dating pool um, significantly because where in the past I used to date straight guys, you know, um, most straight guys are not going to date me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that uh, the way I look now, I I don't think I would I would attract most straight guys because yeah I, I I don't look very feminine and I don't want to never did, um but I always had the the the, the cute face, um and and so some guys some guys liked it because I was so cute, um but anyway, which lends itself to the fact that I still look younger than my age. But uh, anyway, I think I've rambled on uh, enough about this, but I just wanted to kind of like just make a, a little follow-up video. Little. It's not... My videos are never short. But uh, yeah, I, I, I definitely have not changed my mind. I've definitely not had kids. I still am child-free, and I will remain child-free for the, the remainder of however many years I have left. And don't feel sad or sorry for me because this is my choice. This is what works for me. Um, I am very happy I'm not lonely. Everyone says, aren't you lonely or aren't you going to be lonely? Like, 
don't most kids, when they grow up, move away from home anyway? And so, if I had had kids when I was younger, I would be an empty nester now anyhow. Most of my friends who had kids are empty nesters. And so, I don't understand that logic <laughs> in terms of, like, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be lonely anyway at this age. So, but yeah, don't feel bad for me. Uh, my life has turned out pretty darn good. Um, I've had a, a lot of luck, a lot of privilege, and um, some hard work. But uh, I'm happy with my life. I am content with my life. And um, what works for me isn't going to work for everyone. But don't feel bad for me just because I didn't have kids. You know, it, it might not be something that works for you, but... You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to go around saying, ugh, they, they have kids. That's just, you know, how, how dare you have kids? Like, I, I, I don't, I don't go around doing that to other people. So don't come to my channel and say, ugh, how could you not have kids? Aren't you miserable and lonely and this and that? Like, no, no, I am not. Uh, life is darn good and uh, I don't regret a thing. But anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble and... Uh, Take care until the next time I feel like making a video. Bye.